everybody, my name is Peter Donnelly and I am the author and illustrator of The President's Dog. Now, as well as my books being available in bookshops, they are also available to rent in your local library. So all through the month of December, why don't you grab your shoes, grab your coat and head down to your local library for family time. What a beautiful day, said the President. Today, I am going to take my new dog for his first hike. The president's dog wagged his tail with excitement and licked the president's face. Come down, boys, laughed the president's wife. Honey bun, make sure you have everything for your trip and don't get lost. The president grabbed his hat, his walking stick and his backpack and off they went. When they arrived at the trail, they met some friendly hikers who had just come down from the mountain. Enjoy your hike, they said. It's a long way up. Woof! Don't worry, said the president. I have my new mountain dog to keep me company. As they hiked up the mountain, the president's dog ran ahead, chasing bumblebees. Hiking was fun! After a long climb, they stopped for a rest. They were both feeling hungry. Let's eat, said the president. As they enjoyed their lunch, they could see miles and miles of coastal towns below. Suddenly, the weather began to change. Above them, storm clouds gathered and rain began to fall. Quick, shouted the president. Let's shelter beneath this large rock. Hopefully it will stop soon, but it didn't. The sky became darker and the rain became heavier. The president reached into his backpack. Oh no! I've lost my blooming phone! How will anyone find us in this storm? We're lost! The president thought hard for a minute and then turned to his dog. Okay boy, you're faster than me, he said. Go look for help and I will stay here and try and keep warm and dry beneath this rock. The president's dog barked proudly and sprang into action. As the president's dog darted down the mountain, he came to a very tall fence. He'd never jumped anything this high before, but without even thinking, he leapt over the post in one single bound. What a dog. Next, he came to a fast moving river. The current was very strong, but that didn't stop him. He kept his head above the water as he swam like a champ across to the other side. Go, boy! As he raced down the rocky path, he arrived at Paris Court Waterfall. The only way across was to jump from boulder to boulder. This was a very dangerous thing. The president's dog took a deep breath and hurled across the boulder until he cleared the entire waterfall. Finally, he arrived at the foot of the mountain. Just up ahead, the mountain rescue team were finishing their training. The president's dog howled. Hey, hang on guys, shouted one of the crew. It's the president's dog. There must be a problem. The president's dog quickly jumped on board and the engine rumbled and the helicopter lifted off the ground. The helicopter flew close to the side of the mountain as they rose higher and higher through the pouring rain. Let me know when we reach the right spot, said the captain. The president's dog barked when he saw the president huddled beneath the large rock near the top. Woof! As the helicopter hovered above him in the wind, the president watched the crew lower a basket towards him. Jump in, said the winchman, and hang on. We are in for a bumpy ride. The pilot turned the helicopter around and they began to fly away from the storm, onwards towards home. A while later, they arrived back at the oars, landing perfectly on the president's lawn. Everyone was relieved to have them both home safely. The next day, the president awarded the Medal of Courage to his dog for the bravery he had shown on the mountain. Mishnok means courage, he said, and that is the perfect description for you. 
Everybody cheered. And the president's dog, well, he licked the president's face with happiness. What do you think, Lulu?